just showing uh, 5.0. I'm gonna talk about uh, you know, the 392 step back versus the 5.0. Which one should you buy? Uh, just because I own both, you know, I don't own it now. I got my Vic, got my Mustang, and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it since I have a little bit of knowledge. So, I give me a sec. Own the 392 Scat Pack, which is a Charger Challenger, or the 5.0 uh, Mustang GT 10 speed with manual or you know, the 10 speed. Um, since I own the Charger 392 Scat Pack, you know, it's a, it's a really good car. I'm um, sorry for the background noise, it's the freeway. I think I'm gonna roll up my uh. Um, I'm gonna have to leave it down. Uh, but like I was saying, since maybe I'll just keep the light on. But since I own the the Scat Pack 392, um, you know, and the 5.0 10 speed. Uh, sorry. Just making sure my car is off. Uh, but since I own both of them, um. You know, I really did enjoy the Scat Pack. Um, really good car. Don't really hate on that car. Um, once it got stolen, I really do like Mustangs a little bit more just because. So this is kind of come from someone that does like Mustangs more. But the reason behind me getting the Mustang and not going to the Scat Pack, back to the Scat Pack was because I really like to race and I really like to mod my car. So in my head, you know, I figured if I'm going to mod a car, you know, the 5.0s are much easier to mod. Um, I want to know about easier, but a lot cheaper. And where I'm at, it's I, there's a lot of tuners out here. So I decided, you know, maybe I should go with the, the Mustang this time instead of the Scat Pack. Um, the benefits of having a Charger Scat Pack is it's four doors. It's a very good family, strong, powerful car. And the torque, it's just so fun to drive because it just throws you in your seat. Um, and I kind of like the, the display, it's a little bit better. You know, they have a better, like, it has like a dyno thing on it. I think the charger just, inside feels more like, I don't know how to explain it, it just feels like more expensive. Uh, even though my Mustang costs more because I got all the bells and whistles, but, um, you know, it's hard to say, but this is coming from a, a person that's drove both, had both, owned both. Um, you know, if you really, really aren't into like modding your car uh, right off the bat. And now with the, the Hemi being able to mod it and keep the warranty, that might actually be a, a big thing for Chargers and Scat Packs and Hellcats, all of them. Um, that's actually pretty big. That's, a, that's, that's huge. So, you know, it might be better to go with the Hemi right now. But in my opinion, um, if you really like to race and you really want something fast, these 10 speeds, literally with the E85 and heads, it's really hard to beat them. Like, it, it really is. You know, you do full bolt-ons on this car, and this car really, really shines. Um, I've seen some full bolt-on uh, scat packs, and, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that it, it doesn't do anything to it, but they're, they're so, like, well-tuned right off the gate. You know, maybe you get 80 to 100 horsepower, you know, maybe 200, I don't think 200 horsepower, but 100 horsepower more on that car. That car is going to haul ass too. But it's just the weight ratio and everything, you know. Personally, I like the 5 O's better, but, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm just giving you my opinion. But the Scat Packs can't knock them. I love those cars. I want to own both. My goal is to have both, the Charger scat pack and the 5.0 or a hellcat and the 5.0 so i'm working my ass off to see if i can get both um but i also want to say i appreciate the support guys appreciate everything um if you have any questions about the scat pack or the 5.0 you can let me know uh, i'm just giving you my opinion so you could leave your opinion in the comment section you can like this like the video whatever you decide make sure you sub to appreciate it you know um my channel is a little bit more about information. Um, you know, I haven't really got any good races in. 
but you know the track's gonna be open in May and you know it's just tough right now I'm working a lot so I appreciate all the support and like I said the scat pack versus the 5.0 GT Mustang whatever uh, which one is better to own scat pack Mustang GT I would say if you really really want a fast car and you really really want to be able to beat people with very little mods the 5.0 if you want a strong fun family car that is no slouch super fast i don't care what anyone says those scout packs eat uh get the scout pack or if you just like the style better personally i like the way the chargers look the best but you know the five o's I, I just like the way they perform so i choose performance over you know looks because i'm more of a person to you better turn this on I'm more of a person to, um, you know, be, I'm more of a person to race at a track. So I personally like to race more than anything at a, at a track. So that's why I chose this over everything, but it doesn't mean you can't build a scat pack to beat on people. Cause there was a guy that was beating people with a scat pack all day. So I appreciate the support. And once again, um, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to like, don't forget to sub. Appreciate it. Uh,